Phone died and switched. Phone died and switched. You're live. So if you have if you don't have a team that can handle the ball and shoot the ball and pass the ball and figure out what all those are all little parts of this, right? Well, that shed hunting. I go shed hunting not a lot. I wish I did more. I used to a lot, and then they got into this, now I can't go anymore. But when you shed hunt, that's all the parts. That's the game. That's the basketball game. When I train, that's the shooting camp. That's the ball handling camp. That's the practice. That's we don't go and just, if you want to get your team good, you don't just take them to tournaments and let them play because they won't develop skills that they need in the game. So this is the practice stuff. This is what we're doing. So heel sit stay, come when I call you. How do I get that started? Well, I'll tell you, it's really, really complicated. No, it's simple, very simple. I feed my dogs twice a day. And you could do this with a puppy. You can do this with an 11 month old. What are some ages in who's, should have asked this, ages, so I kind of know what you're, what you're dealing with. Puppies, I call puppies about a year, two years and under, I call them puppies, okay? So I think there's categories within that though. I think from about seven weeks old and we pick them up to about four to six months, I think that's a category. That's usually before they teethe. I think once they teethe, they kind of put them in a different little level. But say four to six months up to a year, 12, it used to be about 10 months. For some reason, the puppies I've been getting lately, I don't get, get there till they're about 12 months, 12 plus months. So I kind of bump that category up. But then from there, wherever that is, maybe it's 10 to 14 months, somewhere in there, up to two years old, I call that another phase of puppies. Two and older, the dogs. Uh, the young dogs, but they're dogs. So who's got puppies under two? How old? I got one seven months and then one 13, 14 weeks. Little, little, little. Oh, Chessies? Uh, one's lab and one's Chessies. One's lab and one's Chessies. What do you have? I have a two year old boy Yep, but how old? One year. One year old. What do you got? I'm nine old. I'm old? Black. What do you got? 11 months. 11 months. Same as these guys. What do, you, do you have a dog? <laughs> she doesn't have a dog. I'm, just, I'm doing something right. I got someone who doesn't have a dog. <laughs> what do you guys have? Yeah, yeah. Had. Sure. No dog, no dog. Wow. Must be here for my entrepreneurial skills. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a while. You don't take any notes. Uh, what do you guys have? Talk about 14 Talk. months. 14 months. So, we got one dog over two. You got? I got a four and a nine and a half year old. Four and a nine and a half year old. My first shed dog was eight years old. Don't worry about that. Here's, I wrote an article not too long ago. It was for Whitetails Unlimited. It was called, Great Trainers Know No Time. And the reason I wrote it, and I thought it was real clever. No, no, you know, I spelled it M-O-K-M-O. -M -O -M -O. Brilliant. I stayed up all night for that one too. But <laughs> what I wrote, that when I wrote that, the reason I wrote it was because I mean, you go around with her, Taylor here. Now, here's a, I'll get off track again. The little, little Yellow Dog. Has anybody been watching The Little Yellow Dog? Really dialed in, right? How dialed in was she when she was over here with these guys? Not very pulling them around, all that. So what's the diff what's the what's the different part of this puzzle? Me versus them. So what's that? You have the toys. Sure. But I haven't had them for a while. You know? It's it's me. It's it's me in the role of she knows I am her handler right now. When I checked out and went over here, these two became the handler. And what do 11 week, month old puppies do? Test, just like any puppy does, test. So if, when I, we start talking about dogs, I don't care how good your dog is and I don't care how bad your dog is. I don't care how good you are of a handler or how bad of a handler are you are. What I do care about is how good of a handler and dog combination we can get. Because the best dog in the hands of a bad handler won't do very well be okay, probably maybe average. A great handler with a dog that's not that good can get a dog that's probably okay, can be average. It's when you take good handlers and good dogs or great handlers and great dogs and you team them up, boy, you get some really impressive stuff. That's what I'm trying for, always. I'm always trying to pick, these three dogs in here are all different. There's two more at our booth that you can come and see later. They're different too. But 
I, as a handler, have to realize she's different than her and she's different than her. They're, they're all a little different. How do I adjust? Because the missing link in this little dog's equation was the handler. So the missing link in yours, are, is it you? If, you know, I doubt it's the dog. 99% of the time when there's an issue, it's not the dog. It's the person, it's the handler. As soon as people realize that, they get better. But most don't. Most of it's that damn dog. That damn dog of mine, just dumb. Just, I, I can't tell you how many times I hear that. No, it's mostly you're dumb. You know, and I don't say that to them, but it's you're not thinking right. If you adjust to your dog, you turn them off pretty good. So I'm gonna do an example, I need a volunteer. I know these guys are volunteers, but I need someone, some stranger. Gutsy move. There might be a t-shirt involved. Okay, 11 month old. I want the 11 month old because this is perfect. I'm going to give you the wildest dog I got. <laughs> Come on up. You're going to handle her. Now, she's not bad. I mean, yeah. Who here, who in this room would be happy to have a dog like that? She's a pretty nice dog. I like her. She's high energy. What's your name? Jason. Jason and Jeremy. Jeremy. Jason. 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 She'll really like you. She'll really like you now. If you got some in your pocket, she'll come every time. You know? So, Kimber, Jason, I'm going to have you take a hold of this. I'm going to have Jason walk Kimber. Now, look at Good things are about to happen, she thinks. I'm going to have you take her, and I'd like you to just walk her around the room for us. Now, watch. Be real observant. A few things I look for. I like loose sleeves. I don't, I don't want to give them any tips. I like loose sleeves. I like dogs about a knee or back. I like them a little bit behind it. I certainly don't like them pulling. I don't like them going in the wrong direction. Do another lap if you would, Jason. Nice job. Very, real nice work. Looks good. You hear that some tension going on there, isn't there? Okay. Go a little faster. Then slow down and go the other way. Other way? Yep, go the other way. Nice eyes on the kid. Can you see Kimber's eyes? Those are nice. Turn around and go the other way. Keep going a little faster. Not too bad. Not too bad. Take it back around one more spin here. She gets a little distracted right there, right? Uh, understandable. There, right? Sorry, right. walk her down the aisle. Come, 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 uh, yeah, come down an aisle with some people. <laughs> Doing a nice job, I'm gonna make it a little harder. Boy. You guys ever see two people that dance together for like years? Boy, they're beautiful, right? I just came off of Polka Days, the largest polka festival in the Midwest, class D. Oh, I'm proud of it. You know, I love it. So, so I watched people polka. And you know what? There were some awesome polka errors there. Go right down that aisle. Go right down that aisle. There you go. Keep going. There you go. Oh, yeah. Now she's making retrieves and everything. Okay, bring her back up. Not bad. Really not bad at all. Nice job. How do you feel? Where are you at with your dog as far as your training? Uh, Skill one that would have been pretty average on the yeah, fire running into sure. walk sure. around. Do you work your dog a lot? We yep. your dog a lot? Excellent. Excellent. Okay, have her sit for me. Okay. And then drop that loose, loose sleeve. There you go. Nice job. Stay okay. right there for me. Now, what happened is, he did a really nice job, okay? When I was talking about dancing. So partners, I think, I can be, I'm not, but I could be a really good dancer. I'm not. She's a lot better than I am. But she took some lessons. She took some classes. She took the polka day class. And I missed it. So here we go, right? So we start dancing together. We were those, we were that couple. We were the couple that had the guy that didn't know what the hell you were doing on the dance. <laughs> so now I had to catch up. I had to get my groove a little bit. I had to get my rhythm. But when you watch dancers, especially there, you can tell who's been dancing together for a long time. They can do some pretty incredible stuff. You also can tell 
who's been on the Tito's all afternoon and never danced before because they look awful. They're stepping in the wrong directions. They're missing beats. They're stepping on each other. They're just off, right? It's not real good looking. It looks bad. So when I walk with a dog, I want it to be a dance. I want to be good. I want to look good. Just like I do on open day dance floor. I'm going to take her. So here's what I like. Now, didn't do a bad job with it. But there was a there was a little of this, kind of a kind of a taut lead, right? And we heard it by about the third lap. <laughs> she was breathing hard. Okay, here's a lesson. Where's my? Here's a lesson. What is this? Choke collar. Choke collar. Everybody nailed it. It's not a choke collar. It's a choke collar if you put it on and you put it backwards and it chokes your dog. It's not. It's a slip chain. Now, is it wrong for you calling it a choke collar? No, because you know what? When you go to Fleet Farm and you buy it, you know what the tag says? Choke collar. This is probably a 20 inch choke collar. Here's what, why I say if you put it on backwards, it's a choke collar. So it's pretty magical. Not only do I dance well, I do little magician stuff on the side. So here we go. Slip collar on like this, right? Now, the letter P. Now this is if you heal your dog on the left. Where do you heal your dog at? On the left. We got a little bit of right here. She got out on you a little bit and all of a sudden we were on the right a little bit. I'm impressed by how he reacted and how he handled her because most people hold on to the leash and let him walk. Well, he didn't. He put her in a pretty nice position. His hands are really good. That's all mechanical. That's real, that's real easy. You can figure that stuff out. So if you make the letter P and your dog heals on the left-hand side, and this works for a slip chain, it works for a slip collar, which is this. It's just a slip collar, but it's a vinyl version of this. You put it on over the dog, and you got the little dog, and I'm healing over here, right? So you can see it releases, right? I might have to correct, but it'll turn off. I might correct, they get out of zone, but it releases. So it's pressure on, pressure off. It's designed to do that. It, it simulates the bite of the pack. When this little dog does something wrong, what does mom do? It's a bite of the pack. Correct right away. She will change by me doing that. Her ears just run. She's all right, you're fine. So, letter P, remember it, P for puppy, okay? If you heal on the left. Now, if I flip that around and I put it on this way, my dog heals on the left. It's the exact same, right? It's a leash, it slips on. So dog gets out of my heels on and I correct it. It never falls. So as I pull, it's pressure pinching there. So when you tighten, it just tightens. The point of it is turn pressure on and when they get into the position, turn it back off. Tell them they're good, turn it off. You can't turn it off if you put it on wrong. So the simplest little tool in the world can be really effective or it can be a nightmare and not and confuse the hell out of your dogs. So don't, so simple, simple, simple thing. It's mechanical, right? So we get a little dog on our slip lead. Taylor's got one on. So when I walk her, I like a loose lead. And when I say loose, I like a little slack because that tells me it's a step closer to working off lead. Eventually I worked her on that retrieve off lead. I want to work all my dogs off lead. You talk about shock collars. Anybody over here use shock collar? I don't. Here's why. Because I don't believe in them. Okay? I want to eventually work dogs off lead, no collar, period. Because I know I've got the connection and feel with them. I got, I, I did it with her. I might have a hard time with her right now. She might not be there yet. But we'll see. We'll see how close she is. But I like a loose lead because a loose lead is going to transition to a hanging lead. And a hanging lead is going to transition to no lead. It's incremental. It's going to take steps to get there. But the one thing when her <laughs> was dragging. So I'm gonna see how we had Jason do a really nice job and this is not gonna be drastic. It's not gonna be night and day. But I'm gonna see if I can get her to heal a little better for me. And when I say better, I want this slack. So I set the pace. I'm the leader. Now, Jason followed what I said. I said go faster. So he went faster. I said, slow down. He slowed down. A little bit off, so I got the grip. 
So there was a correction. I stopped, she went past. I'm gonna try it again. We're gonna see how many corrections it takes. She's not paying attention. That one was in on touch. Pretty soon we're gonna get a little dog. He's got some real nice feet. You know how nice your feet were there? So I like little dogs. They react and she's a little bit like this. I'll show you what the difference. Are we out of time? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna finish up here real quick. I'll be out of here, guys. Ah, no, 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 no. Love the retreat. Sit. <laughs> Sit. It happens. Sit. Okay, I'm gonna take her. Uh, Kimber, come here. Kimber, place. Now, little, just let's see the difference with the dog's feet. Ellie, heel. Nice and See how much smoother she is? She doesn't hop nearly as much. There's a little hop. I didn't have to pull her very much, right? So I want to keep it that way. So we've been building on that. We've been working on it. So. I run over with every seminar I do. So, and I know these guys got a great seminar coming up behind us. So, we it didn't nearly come to the smooth finish that I had hoped because I get constrained the time. But I hope the takeaway is this: foundation work is really important. Foundation work is not very complicated. If you have, so, wow, I did plan this. I ran out of time, but the DVD, no. <laughs> so we did a DVD last year because most people ran into a problem with foundation work. So we did a two and a half hour DVD on Heel, Sit, Stay, and Come When I Call You. So this is new, it's new this year. So if you have any questions, if you're interested in keep talking any more about this foundation stuff or talking about the more formal stuff, we're in, we're straight out here. I'm not sure what booth we're in, but. Um, where Pat and Nicole are, if you go down, and one little, we're right on that aisle. I'd be more than happy to talk to anybody about it. I appreciate you sitting through. What size is it, Jason? Come. Oh, wow. Let's see if you got a large. It's a large. How did that happen, right? <laughs> Big guy works in a serious way. It's like a strong faith. All right, thank you so much for sitting through it. I appreciate it. Um, we're going to do another one tomorrow and another one the next day. I guarantee you it won't be the same. We're on live, honey. Can you answer one question? Yeah, what is it? How long does it take a pup to stay focused? How long does it take a pup to stay focused? Well, I gauge it. Tip, I don't think there's a way to measure it specifically, but I gauge it based on age. So depending on how old that pup is, these little guys, if I can get out of uh, up until they're, say, 16 weeks, from 7 to 16 weeks, if I can get 15 seconds, five, five to 15 seconds out of them, I'm happy. And then I build off of it, build off of it. But here's, here's the question I have for you. How patient are you as a trainer? Because that's the part that's missing, patience. I don't care if they have 15 seconds or 15 minutes of focus. Whatever they are, we'll build on it a little bit. All right, let's take these dogs and get them back to the booth. Sorry, guys. Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. What's the yellow dog?